Doing great, Tony. The new and improved studio. Yes. Ready to give you guys your free play today. Looking great. Looking great up there. Here we go with our free play. It's a big one here tonight at on, at 7.30 Eastern Time. The basketball is on ESPN. The hockey is on the TNT Networks. Here, here we go. Bucks the host of Celtics. The Bucks a point and a half. Total of eight. Yeah, so through these first five games, the series, you know, these two heavyweights have traded blows, alternating wins. Constantly shifting momentum here. After a brutal sequence to end game five, included several missed opportunities for Marcus Smart. Uh, Boston Blue, a golden chance to seize the advantage here, squandering a 14 point fourth quarter lead. Now in a must win situation here. Winner takes all for game seven. Uh, you know, the Celtics will hope to continue their hot streak shooting after converting better than 51% from the field in game six. Uh, substantial increase to their season long field goal percentage of 46.5%. They weren't as efficient from long range, uh, less than 32% from beyond the arc, down from their average of 35% of the year. Celtic strength all season has come on the defensive end. Their NBA's top scoring defense, allowing just 104 points per game, limiting opponents to shoot just 43.5% from the field. Uh, you know, while they've not been able to slow down the league's most prolific player, Giannis, uh, he's taken over the series lead with the last three games. Average 38 points, 13 rebounds during that span. Catch the over on his points prop and rebounds every single time. The fact that Giannis has taken at least 25 shots in the game here really, uh, you know, cements his role in this team here and really trying to win it all for the Bucks here. Bucks had a 17 offensive rebound, somewhat huge momentum of the game. Uh, Giannis missed foul shots. And Celtics won in the paint. Score more fast breaks. Overall shooting better from the foul line. Uh, you know, with that being said, I think the Celtics may have made a massive mistake here not finishing it in Game 5 at home. It's not easy to win in Milwaukee. I think the Bucks will win here. My pick is going to be the Bucks on the spread here, minus one and a half. All right, Dylan, I guess one here says take the Bucks minus one and a half here against the Celtics. Yeah, that's a, a big win there for Milwaukee with that comeback victory, although it was a, a series here lately where teams have been blowing up fourth quarter leads, but we just saw the Bucks were able to get some really key controls. Holiday, after those two bad games, was, although his shooting really wasn't on, Dylan, he was able to make some key plays down the stretch to force a key turnover. Of course, all eyes here for Boston is on their on their big man here, Williams, 24-year-old 24 big guy underneath. They really need him. He has that knee issue. He's missed the last few games. He's dealing with that soreness. But again, you're down 3-2. This is a must-win a must game, uh, game here for Boston. And he, he sits here as a game-time decision. But when you miss a couple games with knee issues, that's a bad sign. Yeah, it absolutely is. They definitely need help inside the paint uh, with rebounding. You know, rebounding is not really talked a lot. Uh, but it definitely plays a huge role in the game. I think they're definitely going to need his help. And if not, the Celtics need to make their shots. Uh, you know, rebounding is going to come to second chance opportunities. And, you know, whoever's going to rebound, play the better defensive ball here, it's going to end up winning this game. Uh, I think the Bucks have a better chance to do that. And I'm going to go with the Bucks here. Yeah, and of course, the way the series are formatted here, you get later here with, with with games every other day. You don't have as much rest here as we get down the stretch. Or, you know, Horford's kind of long in the tooth. We're going to see how he holds up here in a game six. Uh, we've got Dylan here on the Bucks playing minus one and a half against the Celtics. This one will have a start time, 7.30 Eastern time over on ESPN. All right, Dylan, let's click over at TonySpicks.com here for a Friday. Good weekend of action here with NBA. Of course, we've got hockey on the board as well. Three games, two NBA games. Uh, we've got still fifth, all 15 games on the card here from MLB. No date baseball today so far. Everything here in, in the PM. What do you have going on over at Tony's Picks? Yeah, coming off a nice 3 and one day yesterday in the MLB. Uh, doing really great work there. I do have a season-long uh, pass there in the MLB. It'll take you all the way into October. Very affordable pricing. Uh, today I've got a three pass for you. I got a play in the uh, WNBA that I really like all over it. And uh, I got two plays in the MLB. I do have eight total plays today, so I'm working on giving you guys a nice five pack in the MLP. You can grab my three pack for just 25 bucks. I'm going to release that five pack after the show ends here for just 30 bucks. Uh, grab my three, seven, 30 day all sports pass and uh, head over to the site, check out our records, and uh, let's keep making money here. That's right, make money here with Dylan Guess one over at Tony'sPicks.com. You'll see you never see it from WMA, but a lot of action here on a three a three pick pass up there for, for Dylan today, as well as uh, go long term with him with those uh, NHL season pass. Or if you want to go a three a three day of all sports pass, great way to go here on a week on a, as we head into the weekend three day all sports pass. Get all of Dylan's premium plays here for three days, Friday, Saturday, and and Sunday coverage here from the NBA. We have the NHL playoffs. We have a couple of big game sevens here coming up here from the NHL. So you want to get on board with that with, with Dylan's three day. 
course, could, could delve into European club soccer. We're closing off some links action here uh, uh, this weekend as well uh, from some of the leagues. I think La Liga uh, and a couple of them as well are, are ending, Bundesliga as well. So still uh, action there on, on the pitch. Of course, sometimes you can look into tennis, golf matchups. There's a lot we have going on over at TonySpace.com. First five from baseball. We've got a lot on the board here, guys. So get on board that three-day all sports. A very great value there on the board for $99. You can, we can save you 20% off right now when you use the promo code TONYT at checkout. We'll get you 20% off that price. Save you 20 bucks. You can access Dylan's page by clicking the link in the description below. Click on the all cappers tab at the top and then get signed up. All right, Dylan, as always, uh, great having your show. Continue that success. But I know... Uh, we also have you on Twitter as well. Yeah, absolutely. You guys can follow me at Tony's Picks Dylan on Twitter. Uh, I do post my free plays there every day, and I make sure to give you guys the nice tips on when I'm feeling hot. For those of you who haven't checked me out on my page yet, I do highly recommend the three-day pass. It's a nice little trial going into the weekend. I always got every game for the entire weekend slate that I already picked, so that three-game uh, three-day pass will save you a lot of money. Uh, on the long term and use that coupon code to save 20 percent off on our purchases here that's right guys save that 20 percent off the promo code here again is tony t at checkout you can access the dylan's page by clicking the link below and clicking the all cappers tab and you'll find them there all right dylan as always great having your show continue that success hope to catch you with you tonight sounds great tony thanks see you later